Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mavki and today we're starting a new series um, and actually do a little history lesson. Um, this game came out I think a week ago about approximately. Um, it's called Cross of the Dutchman and some of you may know or maybe all of you uh, I am a Dutchman. So um, yeah this game intrigued me just because of the name and the way it looked because graphically um, just by looking at the main menu itself it, it looks cool um, the other thing that attracted me to this game is that it's based on a true story uh, so actual history um, I didn't know the story myself even though I am Dutch um, but that's because it's um, related to one of our 12 provinces and the one that I have the least experience with uh, the Frisian province and um, yeah so I'm, I'm just as curious um, about this story as anybody else that hasn't heard of it so um, uh, yeah it'll be fun to find out what this actually is um, I have been doing some reading and it looks like to be something similar to Braveheart but on a smaller scale so uh, a farmer um, has to protect his province or country from um, occupants and uh, that farmer raises an army and, and goes to battle to defend his his property and his country and his countrymen so yeah that's what we're gonna do um, like I said I have been doing some reading I haven't actually played the game but what I've gathered is that it's fairly basic game um, it's also a fairly short game in somewhere between three and six hours of playthrough uh, time so um, I'll be doing a series of this and um, if we like it if I like it if you guys like it um, we'll just finish the entire game in different episodes and if somewhere along the line either of us decides that this is not for us then we'll just quit it and move on to the next game so um, I'm curious to see what this game is about and um, let's just get started So apparently there isn't a voiceover. So in the 16th century, Frisia is torn apart by strife and turmoil. Now that's a small part of the Netherlands. Several factions are trying to get hold of the land and the cons and to consolidate their power. I'm just gonna let you do the reading because I might mispronounce th things and might get annoying. So that's our hero, hero, and I think he's called Pierre. It's actually pronounced Pierre, but yeah, for the sake of English, we'll just call him Pierre. So we are a farmer called Pierre, and um, we're on his land. This is us, and he's glad to be done working, and he's got an appetite. Um, I really hope Rince has prepared something good today. Now, Rince should be his wife. Um, movement is done by point and click. And there's the wife, apparently. Hello, dearest. Have you finished preparing the field for growing season? I've been breaking my back over it all morning. It's all been taken care of. I'll stop that. Well done, I've been busy as well. I'm afraid I haven't gotten around to preparing a meal yet. Hmm, anything I can do to help out? Yes, you can actually. We're all out of meat and fish, so you could head to the market at the crossroads and trade some of our vegetables. They are really up to you. Can't you send one of the kids? I haven't seen those rascals all morning. Please just gather some vegetables around. Well, who's that then? Um, you can use the mini-map to find your way around. Okay, fine. Mini-map. What on earth are you talking about? Right. Don't make this too complicated, dear. Just make sure you're back home before sundown. So, mini-map. And I think these are the things we need to pick up. And that's vegetable. So, yep, that's one. 
There's another one. Well, I'm just following the minimap. Who are you? Running around. Oh, that, he said, he called me dad, so this is one of the children. So, I think my wife is slowly turning blind if she didn't catch one of those running around, because... Oh, and there's another kid. <laughs> so, the kids are playing, and here I am gathering vegetables. Where do I need to go? Can I go... Okay, maybe I am somewhere I don't... I wasn't supposed to go because I can't get through here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I've been under the weather lately so if you hear me cough sorry for that but go back to rinse no we'll just go back to rinse then it's a lot of clicking game looks good though graphically I mean yeah looks looks fun uh, where is oh I'm running in the wrong direction there she is here you go, a whole bunch of vegetables scattered from around the farm. Thanks, my love. But it looks like you forgot to bring the carrots. Go across the ditch and get to the field to the east of the farm. You're kidding me, right? Off you go. Okay, so it's clear to see who's got the pants on in this relationship. Might be a Dutch thing, though. Just kidding. Just following the minimap again. Um, need to go here. Are those carrots? Doesn't really look like a carrot, but I'll take it. Yep, those are carrots. He's starting to feel like an errand boy. Going back to... Oh, what's this? Brigand! You give us all your money or we'll take your life. What the heck? What are you doing on my property? Shut up and hand over the money. Leave my farm right now or I'll make short work of the bunch. Oh, clicked a little bit short. Uh, too early. We'll take the challenge any day. So, uh, I, I guess we're going to fight. And I do think that's with the use of the mouse as well. So... Hiya! <laughs> These fools thought they could come to my place and rob me the nerve. I like his beard. I'm not a beard guy, but... So, uh, object... Oh, we we'll still have to go to uh, the wife. So, um... That was a small taste of apparently what this game is about. A lot of hacking and slashing and... Uh, eventually we'll, we'll get weapons and we'll just take on an army, apparently. You won't believe what just happened. I got ambushed by a bunch of crooks on our our own land. Why is this red? Can we click it? No, we can't. Yikes, were you hurt? I'm fine. Not sure about those guys, to be honest. Things have come more have become more dangerous ever since those Saxon soldiers have reached the village of Kimsword and Aram. Um, I, I do believe these are the actual names not translated it's just the dutch and apparently it's pronounceable in, in english and now you've run into strangers on our very doorstep what's next who can tell i'll make sure to keep a watchful eye from now on so perhaps it's best if you take some of our savings with you to the crossroads just in case you need to pay to stay out of trouble okay take money with us I guess it can't hurt, but I'd rather deal with it in a different way. So would I. I'd like to fight. Oh, got an achievement. Hooray. Stop pushing me around, lady. Oh, I need to go on this patch of land. Oh. 
Nice, wrecking boxes. Handing over our savings to one of those Saxon bastards would be the last thing I do. Yep, gonna kill him. Um, uh, back to the wife again. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing again. Well, I'm off to the crossroads now. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Don't get yourself in any kind of trouble. World map to find your way back. Let's see what that looks like. Well, the map actually looks pretty pretty big. Can we scroll even further? Oh, it looks like it. Oh, we've got upgrade shops. Oh, these are this is this is a legend probably. That's the chest I just opened. So maybe we will need to find six more in this map. Like I said, I'm new to the game as well, so our objective is over yonder, and this is us. So let's keep our eye open for those crates. I'm I'm not gonna um, search them out. Uh, well, there's one. I'm I'm not gonna specifically look for them. Uh, but if I find them, I'll take them. It's more for the story, cause this is an actually true story. <laughs> Cows are funny creatures. Okay, I didn't click on the cow. Oh, we can hack those as well. Oh, we're getting money from that, so that's a good thing. Just a little sidestepping. Oh, there's another box. But no pathing to actually turn, go around this. Can we loot these people? No. They were used to traveling around. Okay. Can we do something with... Oh, that's part of the same camp. Now, now we know that we can destroy stuff. Let's destroy that. Uh, that's probably his parents. Same last name. Uh, oh, another box. Around the bush, please. Just checking this side road. Oh, yep, there's another one. Now, we're so close to getting all these, all seven of them, so might as well just... I want to go over here. Uh, apparently, if you click to attack something, oh, there's a fence in the way. If you click to a, a, attack something that you can't reach, you'll just attack anyway. Good to know. getting close to the village it seems. Yay, trashing other people's property. Let's talk to this guy, see what he's got. Good day, Pierre. Hello, Wilk. Talking about the brigands giving trouble. Two odd characters. Kept my distance. Things have been getting more dangerous lately, you know, with those Saxon soldiers and Kim's word in arm. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through this. Don't worry, I'll take good care. It's more the precautionary talks and are we back at home or something? Yep, that's Wilk. So let's l take a look at the map. We've uncovered this, so. 
We still need two more crates, but they'll probably in, be in the city that we're going to. At least I hope so. I'm not really the guy to complete a game 100%. I don't really have the attention span for that, so to say. I like my shinies. Oh, accidentally ran into one. But if we get close, like we're doing now, I'm, I might as well finish it, right? Did I just run out of the map without finishing that last one? Yep. Sorry guys, I'm going back for that one. Oh, there's another one for the new world. So it's probably somewhere along this watery ridge. That's the camp again. We go through here. No. Well, we've searched all that. Probably in a very obvious spot. Oh, never mind. Like I said, it's more about the story and uh, not really about finding everything. Chapter 2, Trouble at the Crossroads. Okay, so apparently we're gonna get in trouble. Nice that they announced that. Trade your vegetables to this guy. Hello, good man. I would like to trade my vegetables for some of your finest fish. Ah, you've come to the right place. Well, apparently. My fish is the freshest you can get. But I'm afraid I won't be able to trade with you today. Coins only. Are you saying something is wrong with my vegetables? I've been growing these on my land. You know. And I'm sorry, your vegetables look fine. It's just that I need to pay a lot more taxes now that those Saxon soldiers have come to the village. That's why I can only sell my fish for coins. These guys are everywhere. And now that they are even getting between me and my meal. Come on, let's do some fighting. Soldiers have taken their fish. Okay, so our objective is to get the fish back. I'll return your fish. Thank you. Okay. Achievement, the story begins. Oh. Weapons? Oh, I've got coins. Oh, apparently, my coins aren't good enough yet. Three of them. Okay. Hold it right there, peasant! Let me pass. I have no business with you. We have to pay toll. Pay toll or won't pass. What kind of scum would extort people out of their hard-earned money? Someone ought to teach you a lesson. So, uh, this is the, uh, they can take our lives, but they will never take our money part. Banzai! Well, that was fairly easy. Okay, find the fish and return home. Or to the merchant. There's the fish. Run around it. Oh, more. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, um, you see... Enough! You saw what you did? Now surrender and get to the hell out of our camp! So, how do I surrender and get out of the camp? That's two different... Ah, oh, never mind. So, we don't have the fish. Now... If I were one of these guys and I see three people lying unconscious, knocked out by one guy, all I'm not all I'm doing is putting him outside of the camp. That's just ridiculous. Be it peasant. 
Don't have enough damage. So, these guys aren't actually that bad if they... Um, can we get through here? Just go in from behind. So if they let me live, can we open this up? No, we cannot. Oh, ask, ask the fishmonger for help. I need help returning your fish. I'm afraid not I was able to fight off a couple of soldiers, but backup arrived before I knew it. They threw me out of their camp. Okay, find the blacksmith. Kurt, huh? Never heard of him. But I don't think I'll be able to reach him anyway. These soldiers have blocked the entire road and there's no way I'm paying them at all after what just happened. That's what I figured. No worries. Gerd often travels to Kimsworth to help shoe horses, to help shoe horses on the farms. Catch him quickly. Well, why not? At the Kimsworth. Where is that? This direction. So, why am I finding a blacksmith if the sword dealer was two steps behind this uh, this salesman? A little bit. Okay, thanks for telling me I'm on the right track. I'm not trying to be negative or funny or anything, it's I'm just saying what I see. And some things are a little bit wonky in the story, that is. Come on, give me some people to beat on. I'm looking for the blacksmith. Sure, Gerd is taking a rest just past the farm along this road. Thank you. So, is this considered a farm? Found a box. And we can't get down. <coughs> Sorry again. Um, so I'll first check if the farm is this way. Well, if it is, I'm not going there. I didn't click on him. box. This path is not leading towards said box. That's probably not the right direction. So where is that guy? Is this where he came from? Nope. Who are you? Map. So this is the farm on this road, so he's past that, so it's probably over there. This way. I'm just spam clicking. Oh, bridge is up. Um.
Oh, who are you? I'm stuck. Let me wreck your merchandise before I talk to you. Or can't I? Well, apparently I can't. <coughs> what brings me here? Well, probably a sword. Thrown out of a soldier's camp. He doesn't need to hear your life story, you just need a sword, come on. You're calling me a troublemaker? Uh, I would have just sold you a sword, but since we're on the road, all I can give you right now is some advice. Hmm. I'll take your advice. Actually, my buy. Uh, I need to pay for advice. Okay, are you kidding me? This had better be gold-plated advice then. Would you expect anything else from a master blacksmith like me? Well, I don't know you, so you want to learn how to beat those soldiers or not? I guess there's no other way. Here's the money. Listen carefully. What you need to do is learn to control the anger of yours. Build it up and let it all out. One furious blow. Oh, cool. So apparently we are we are learning something, uh, a special move or something. Stamina bar. Well, we found that out. Regular punches don't work. Use special attack. Now, what's the special attack? Okay. We found out the button for special attack. How you can! Pretty impressive. Cool. Thanks for the advice. Just so you know, if you ever learn a new move, you can always switch back to those moves you already know. Oh, cool. So I, I guess that's that. Um, let's do another special. Oh yeah, that's the stamina bar, health bar. Pretty obvious, right? Um, let's see about something. I want to try out something. Can we destroy this one? No. I wanted to see if we could take out that um, farm fence on the top road. Oh, oh, turn back. I want my gold. Like I said, I'm not really interested in completing the game 100%, but gold at this point in the game might just be the difference between getting a good sword or a decent sword or a great sword or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it gave us an achievement. And let's fight those bastards. Oh, first let's talk to the fish guy. No, oh, fish guy's over here. You've come back! Okay. So now we can talk to him. Oh, I'm sorry, coins won't. Now, why did it show up on the map? Hmm. You tricked me, game. Come and get it! Ah! Right. Meh, yeah, cool. Stamina bar's full. Here I come again. Whee! Incredible! I've never felt so strong in all my life. I guess that old blacksmith, blacksmith's advice was worth more than I thought. Find the fish. Well, look around. Dun, 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 dun. Well, that wasn't actually Mission Impossible. That was fairly doable. Or, let's just say, easy. There is no um, difficulty settings in this game, so it's just the game it is. And I'm not judging that. It's just just what it is. You're back already? Well, I punched them out. 
They start wearing some armor and think they can push people around. Keep the fish. Yay. The wife will be happy. Yeah. Far greater numbers. Let them come. Okay. Now, can we now talk to this guy? Yay, we can. Oh, we can upgrade spin punches. <coughs> now, like I said, uh, it might be the difference between a good thingy and a bad thingy. You know, this is the most expensive one, so I'm going for that one. Yay, bought it. Now, yes, we can alternate between them. Let's see what we just bought. So first we had um, Ryu, and now we have Chun Li, only standing upwards. Or wasn't that Chun Li? Yeah, never mind. Going back to the missus, retrieving or returning the fish. Oh, that's the one we missed, right? We need to get across here somewhere. And then cross here somewhere. And then turn this way. That's the spot we already went to in the first place, though. Mm. Must have been uh, spawned in after that started happening. So where's the missus? Missus, there you are. Here's your fish. Fish for free. It's a die straight song. <laughs> yep, soldiers. What do you think will happen now? Next thing you know, those soldiers will come to our house. You can't put our family in danger like this. Don't really worry about that. I'll be here to protect you. Well, well, we're just looking at the story. Um, again, no voices. What just happened? Dun, dun, dun. Well, we'll continue this in the next episode. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the game. Um, what you think about me playing this game. Uh, like if you like me playing it. Like if you like the game. Um, yeah, subscribe for more if you like it enough. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.